Hello everyone, my name is Abhishek and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, let's see why the popular tech YouTubers are talking about DevOps and cloud. I don't want to take any names here, but if you see the most popular tech YouTubers in India or outside India, they are making videos on how to learn DevOps and cloud, roadmaps to become a DevOps engineer or a cloud engineer, high paying jobs. But why is this happening? Let me tell you, this is not a criticism video. I'm not going to criticize anyone here, but in fact, I really appreciate and encourage more and more tech YouTubers to talk about DevOps and cloud because I personally feel this field is going to make significant impact in the software industry in coming years. So it deserves more light. So I highly encourage more and more people talking about DevOps and cloud, and I don't see any problem in it. But let me talk about three primary reasons why everybody is talking about DevOps and cloud. Let's understand. According to me, reason number one is that more and more companies are building DevOps teams. So when I started with DevOps and cloud, so there was no dedicated teams for DevOps and cloud. I'm talking about nine years or 10 years ago. So then, you know, developers used to manage uh, the DevOps engineering part. In fact, there was no such term called DevOps. It was just, uh, you know, that term was just coming up, but there used to be build and release system administration or uh, something related to uh, companies just migrating to cloud. So it was taken up by different teams or in some companies, it can be startups. Developers were the ones who are managing all this sort of work. But now if you see any company, they have DevOps related teams. Some of the companies still did not build that culture, but they have to build that soon. Because DevOps and cloud engineers are going to migrate your entire infrastructure to public cloud. Let's say you don't even want to go to public cloud and you want to maintain your entire ecosystem in private cloud. Still DevOps and cloud engineers are the ones who have relevant expertise, right? So if you see currently in the market, who can set up your private cloud infrastructure, who can, uh, set up your Kubernetes clusters or who can set up uh, your, uh, let's say the load balancer configuration, DevOps and cloud engineers. So whether it is private cloud or public cloud, if it is public cloud, then the scope of DevOps and cloud engineers is much more. And majority of the companies these days are in public cloud. So this is reason number one, that is most of the companies are building DevOps teams. And in fact, I can say majority of the companies at this point of time have DevOps teams, individual DevOps teams, and they're scaling up. That means they're increasing the number of DevOps and cloud resources. You can also read some success stories or you can talk to any DevOps engineers. You will definitely hear them saying how DevOps engineering team has reduced the cloud cost, right? And it makes significant difference to the companies. So that's why this is my reason number one, according to me, one of the main reasons. Now reason number two, if you have seen a uh, recent LinkedIn posts, one of the trending topics is how 300 million users were concurrently watching India Pakistan cricket match. So this can be with any systems, right? I'm just taking cricket as an example, but any systems that involves in concurrent users, any game platforms or any uh, platforms that is hosting uh, this live television shows where there are millions of users watching it. I'm not saying DevOps and cloud is the only reason for building these systems, but DevOps and cloud along with SRE plays a critical role here. Now, why did I include DevOps cloud and SRE onto the same line here? Because throughout the video, I was only talking about DevOps and cloud. Now, because Abhishek, you are talking about a reliable system, you included SRE into DevOps. No, that's not the case. See, understand the scenario here that is, still the culture of SRE is building in many of the companies. That means right now DevOps engineers are managing the monitoring related things or DevOps engineers are managing SRE related tasks in majority of the companies. There are very few companies who have a clear distinction of what does a DevOps engineer do and what does a SRE engineer do. And a lot of companies don't have SRE teams itself. So, you know, if SRE is going to 
definitely sr is going to make uh, a significant improvement in future you will see lot of sre teams lot of sre related positions and again devops and cloud engineers are the first ones to move to sre roles let's say i am interested in sre because i have knowledge on devops and cloud for me it will be much easier to transform to an sre role compared to other people right so that's why i am including devops cloud and sre because the culture of sre is still building and in future if i see sre growing i would definitely see a lot of devops and cloud engineers taking their path into sre so if you talk about this systems where there are 300 concurrent users or you know uh, platforms where lot of users are watching uh, parallelly so devops and cloud is playing significant role there so again that is one of the reasons uh, in future lot of apps that you see are going to be with concurrent users right these days uh, all the apps target a lot of users so if you want to build such systems along with strong development skills you also need a devops and cloud team or an sre team who is going to manage these things so this is my reason number 2 now reason number 3 is the future of devops itself if you see ai or chat gpt or the gpt models large language models yes they are growing significantly but according to me i have told this many a times before devops and cloud is the last thing that ai can replace so development is something that ai can replace much easier when compared to devops and cloud and let me put my reasoning very clearly one more time if you look at this large language models they need a lot of data to learn about the technology and to help you with giving the answers so you know uh, let's say you ask one of these large language uh, model tools such as chat gpt to write a python script there is lot of data that is available now i am not going into details of how chat gpt gets this information i have already made a video on chat gpt what are its sources but there is a lot of source or there is a lot of data that chat gpt can train on python so the amount of accuracy that it can give you when you ask when you ask chat gpt uh, for a python program is far more than let's say you want to get some information on how to set up argo cd or you want to uh, write an argo cd application chat gpt will not give you information as efficient as python because there is not enough data here and most of these uh, devops related tools are still emerging you know there is a lot of scope of improvement in devops and cloud and this space is constantly evolving if you look at cnc for if you look at any other thing so this space is constantly evolving and uh, you know this is con this is very dynamic field that means uh, if you look at kubernetes nature itself there is constant change that is happening when you compare with like you know uh, this number of plugins uh, that comes to kubernetes or number of custom controllers number of new tools argo cd flux spinnaker so devops engineers take time to learn this and the amount of data that large language models require to give efficiency on these things is not available at this point of time so this is another reason that i feel that devops and cloud engineers are very difficult to be replaced by the ai or chat gpt large language model tools so it's going to take a lot of time so everyone is focusing on devops and cloud for these three reasons is what i feel if you think that there are other reasons and if you see that there are you know uh, some points that i have missed then please let me know in the comment section i'll be more happy to learn from you as well one thing to conclude is the future of devops and cloud is going to be very bright if you are interested in pursuing your career in devops and cloud don't come to this thinking that devops and cloud is easy don't come to this thinking that there is less programming in devops and cloud probably there is less programming when compared to development or automation testing but the amount of things that you have to learn here the systems that we build the large uh number of teams that we support is you know uh, far more than or the effort is sometimes far more than what developers or automation testers put so do your research properly understand from a lot of people talk to your devops engineering peers If, let's say in your company there is a devops engineering team 
talk to them understand the roles and responsibilities these days everything is on internet read some articles right then do your homework do your research and only then come to devops and cloud thank you so much for watching today's video take care everyone bye bye